What's happening out there, gamers? It's Roll Easy here on a beautiful Sunday. I hope everyone out there is having a great day. I have seven of the best solo RP glitches that you can do in GTA 5 Online. Still working today, man, after patch 1.41. Uh, pretty simple to do for the most part, some more difficult ones, but uh, guys, just a word of warning about those modded jobs. They are modded jobs going around and they are only for PS4. Xbox cannot do those. There's something in the files that doesn't allow the transfer from old gen to new gen. Now, these jobs you must be very careful with. The creators of these jobs have already been banned from the social club. They cannot create jobs whatsoever on those accounts anymore. Now, the people using the jobs you, it's possible you could get banned, most likely not, but what will happen is your money will get corrected if you get an insane amount. People have already gotten their money corrected today from Rockstar. You know, people that were doing the glitch, or it's not even a glitch, it's a modded job, guys. They have detection systems to create, to uh, detect modded money, all right? People always asking, oh, can you get banned for stuff, um, for modded stuff? Yes, you're manipulating the game files. So guys, be very careful with that. Do it on an account that you don't care about. If you do it on your main account, don't get too much money, all right? So we're going to go on with this RP glitch. You need a buzzard and you need to go to this construction site location right down the street from FIB building, uh, right across the street from Ulta Street. So right there, all I did was I stood right there and I got two stars. All right, so shoot some rockets down the street and just grab two stars for yourself real quick. Once you've gotten two stars, all you got to do is grab your buzzard now and you got to just fly back right here to this, uh, this orange crate that's just chilling right there go ahead and just sit on top of that crate as you can see my stars are already flashing reason being the cops cannot get to me over here so once you're on the crate go ahead and switch over to your missiles the uh, non-homing all right so switch over to those and just go ahead and start firing this is an afk rp glitch okay what's going to happen is he's going to keep firing those rockets and you're going to lose the stars gain about two to 250 rp every minute and then at that point, he's just going to keep shooting. And when the next, you know, bomb explodes, you're going to get those stars again. So you just keep getting the stars and keep, you know, and the stars keep going away every minute or so. And what you want to do is if you want to make it AFK, plug in your controller, grab a, uh, you know, grab some tape and tape down your A button. If your A button doesn't stay like fully taped down that way, what I would recommend, get one of those wide uh, rubber bands. Once you've gotten the wide rubber band, all you got to do is rubber band it to the A button and then put some tape over it just to make sure that it stays right there over the A button and you're good to go. Just make sure your controller's plugged in, make sure your console is, is not set to like sleep mode or turn off after a certain amount of time and boom, you saw that I just got the uh, 200 RP. So this is really good for low levels, but you know, just good if you want to just gain, gain extra RP every time you sleep, all right, for doing nothing, literally. So I'm just fast forwarding here so you can see how fast this is and uh, yeah. You gain 200 RP just for doing nothing, man. Really simple glitch to do. So let's move on to this next one. This I kind of had to resurrect and move around myself before we were, we were able to park the MOC right by the entrance and just run in and out, in and out. Recently, I guess since the hangar DLC, Rockstar put like guards and stuff over there at the, uh, the entrance. So it doesn't work the same. So what you got to do is park your MOC under this bridge right here. Once you've parked the MOC under the bridge, you have a good, you know, you have a good amount of space to actually move around and you have a good amount of space to uh, to come back and to lose those stars. Remember, for all these RP glitches, for the most part, you got to lose the stars to be able to gain the RP. So there's the spot on the map right there. What you want to do now is I'm using an oppressor. You can pretty much use any bike or anything like that. I recommend a bike just because it's easier. And if you got an oppressor with missiles or missiles would probably be better, but I just got machine guns on here. I have to use my backup character because my backup character does not have any uh, hangers or anything at Fort San Kudo. Uh, yeah, to do these military base glitches, I just got three stars right there. I ran back to my MOC. I've lost the three stars. And now I'm just going to go ahead and go into the MOC and I'm going to gain the RP. Guys, if you want to do any of these military base RP glitches, you can't have a hangar over there at, you know, Fort Zancudo. Because once you have the hangar, you have low level clearance, which means you won't get stars when you go to Fort Zancudo. Which is why I had to go to my backup account. My main account has the hangar at Fort Zancudo. This one does not. It's at LSI. But I'm going to show you real quick once again right here just to show you guys that you are gaining the RP. I just literally shot a little bit right there to get two stars. If you shoot more or really gain more attention, you can get four stars and you can gain a lot more XP. 
but just for the video purposes, I wanted to show you guys this. Two stars are flashing now. You want them to be flashing, which is why we have to run back or you know drive back to the MOC. And now once you go into your MOC, you should see, boom, at the top, I got my RP just like that. So that one I had to resurrect. This one is one of the older ones, and this one is awesome this one <laughs> this one is pretty cool i do enjoy this one so what you're gonna do is go to that location that you see on the map it's kind of like on the side uh, of the runway and park your moc back like that now get your character and this one you don't need any other vehicles just run over past that sign to the corner boom you get four stars once you've gotten that just sprint right back over to your MOC to the blue circle. See the stars are flashing now? You get four stars every time you do this. So this one you do get a good amount of RP, no waiting or anything like that, and boom, RP was put in there. You see I even ranked up in my crew. So that is how you get RP for this one. And now all you gotta do at this point is go ahead and go outside, run back over to that little corner area past that sign. All you gotta do is touch it. Once you touch that corner right there, boom, I got four stars. Start running back check it out they're gonna start flashing any minute boom right there they started flashing run into your moc they must be flashing for you to run into your moc if your moc is too close they might not flash if your moc is too far they could catch you so find the distance that works for you and i got 400 rp that way now the other one that you can do almost in the same location this is the exact location right here on the map grab an oppressor works best but if you do have another motorcycle that's fast go ahead and use that but with the oppressor we're just going to hit the boost start over at that sign right there hit that same corner get your four stars and now drive back or ride back over to where that sign was right there and hide in this bush once you've hidden this bush i'm just fast forwarding you see i got four stars they're blinking they're blinking this one you do have to wait for the stars to go away so it does take a little bit longer this one's not afk none of these are at the moment you got to wait you know for the stars to go away boom i got 400 rp that way now once you've lost the the, uh, the cops go ahead and go back over to that sign hit the boost go over to that corner again touch it boom you got four stars ride back over to the same spot once you've rode back over to this spot, hide in the bush. You must hide in the bush. If you don't hide, they're going to get you, I'm telling you. And then you're just going to screw it all up and you're going to die. All right, so, yeah, um, you know, four stars are flashing right now. In a second, I'm going to go over here and get the XP, or RP, I should say. And then, boom, 400 RP, just like that. So you can keep doing it this way. I just wanted to show you guys all the military base ones. Uh, there is one more that is really cool. This one, it does require a little bit of money, but you need to have a yacht. Now, once you've gotten a yacht, what you want to do is go over here and you want to move it over to North Shumash. All right, North Shumash is the place that you want to move your yacht to. Any other place, you know, closer to the to the fort, it's not going to work out. You need it to be at this exact location, and sometimes there's other players in the session. This one, you need to do it in a public session, but I'm going to show you guys a trick, all right? So, once you're in a public session, start up piracy prevention once you've moved your yacht. Now, once you started up piracy prevention, what you can actually do now is do the solo public lobby glitch that we have for Xbox. PlayStation, uh, I'll leave a link or you know, I'll leave some, some tips or whatever for you guys to get a solo public lobby, but for us on Xbox, it's really easy once we're in the game. Just go ahead and go to your settings and test your NAT type, as you can see right here. I'm testing my NAT type, hit continue, back out, go back to the game, and everybody has left the session. I'm here by myself, all right? Once again, though, I realized I was at, you know, on my other character, and I can't do this with a Ford Zancudo because I have a hanger over there. So I went to my backup character. I just wanna show you where your yacht has to be. The yacht has to be in that exact location, okay? It can't be over there, not, not anywhere there. That's too close to the fort. That's the fort right there. It has to be over here at this location for this to work. So once you've gotten that, get a buzzard. You can get anything, really. Um, but yeah, start up piracy prevention. You must. You can do the solo public lobby glitch right now if you wanna kick everybody out, but I just wanted to get this done and get some footage for you guys. So, once we've done that, fly over to the military base. Now, once you've flown over to the military base, you're going to see you're going to get four stars once you cross over those gates. So, check it out. Right here, we're over the gates. We're about to get four stars. Go ahead and start turning around. So, I've gotten four stars. Just turn around. Fly towards the yacht again or towards the water. And you're going to see they're flashing already. Right when you get to the shoreline, check it out. Boom. They're gone. So, you got four stars, uh, you know, taken away that simply and that quickly okay so all you got to do is just keep doing this fly right back over to the military base over the uh over the runway 
and then get the get your four stars they start blinking right as you start leaving the military base and right when you hit this shoreline they just go away and you get 400 rp just like that so just keep flying back and forth you can do this the entire time during piracy prevention and since you did the solo public lobby glitch you're also going to get thirty thousand dollars for doing this so thirty thousand bucks uh, for those of you that like to grind out, you know, certain jobs and VIP jobs, you can get 30 grand and you can just keep getting more and more RP by just doing this while you're doing piracy prevention. So those of you that want to rank up and make money, this one is really, really good for you guys. All right. So you can see right here, that's all I'm doing. I just keep doing it back and forth, back and forth. And I get a bunch of RP doing this, guys, for doing nothing and just starting up a job. So check it out. For those of you that think this might be old footage, Coil Cyclone right there. This is not old footage. This glitch still works. All right. All these glitches still work. This is one of my favorites, guys. So go ahead and go to your Rockstar Created Jobs. Go to Stunt Races. And this one, pretty much anybody can do. All right. Go to the Rocket Voltec Mission Atmosphere. And go ahead and start up Atmosphere. This one's old, but let me tell you, it's one of my favorites. I still do it every now and then just to have fun on my uh, low-level accounts. So what you want to do is, you know, if you have a custom Rocket Voltec, you can use the custom one. That works. If you don't, you can use the one they give you. That's all good. And now if you notice, what, you, what happens is... Whenever you, you know, flip upside down or do things like that, you get RP for it. So there's a spot in this, you know, in this race where you can just keep doing this over and over again. Basically, it's at this point right here. When you reach this giant tube and it's just going straight up in the sky, what you want to do is go ahead and just push your left stick to the left or to the right, whichever side you want, and then go ahead and just twist and turn your car. So once you've done that, just keep doing it and keep doing it and you want to land so you want to I guess you want to kind of get good at the timing but you want to land on your wheels if you don't land on the wheels you're gonna blow up so go ahead and land and you see that I got 325 RP at this point hold the Y button or the triangle and you're gonna respawn when you respawn you're gonna respawn right here at the ramp so just hit your boost level out a bit and then go ahead and turn your stick to the left and then just keep twisting and twisting. I landed, I got 400 RP like that, and just keep doing it over and over again. Respawn right after you get your RP. Just hold the Y button or the triangle button, and then you'll just keep respawning, and you can just keep doing this over and over again, get your 450 RP if you twist the full amount of times, as you can see. And then go ahead, when you're done, finish the race, get some money and more RP. So there you go, all right? Now, probably the best one here, and there's so many glitches in this one, guys. You need a lot of stuff. You need the MOC with the, um, you know with the weapon and vehicle workshop you need an underground garage for all your special vehicles and stuff you need a good amount of stuff and a, uh, a biker you know business you know you need some good stuff uh, or a clubhouse so we're gonna do the never get kicked glitch never idle out what you want to do is just idle out like this in a public or invite only session I used a public session to idle out we opened up our dashboard so that we idled out quicker now once you're on that alert go ahead and go to your friends and then just hit join game one time once you've done that it's going to get rid of that kicked alert and it's, you're going to be on that alert. Deny that alert. All right. Deny the are you sure you want to join alert. Just deny it. It's going to quit the session and it's going to kick you back to story. Once you're at story, go ahead and go into a public session from here. Now, that is the never get kick glitch. Once, once you're in this new public session, you will not get kicked. You're fine. No matter what you do, you can leave your controller sitting there for days. You will not get kicked unless you have a connection error. Now, go ahead and call up your MOC. I'm even going to show you guys that this glitch still works. The spawn your MOC right near you glitch, all right? Just keep respawning your motorcycle, you know, your oppressor, and then boom, look at that. My MOC spawned right next to me. It's still working. So keep, you know, returning uh, oppressor to storage and keep requesting it over and over again. And then if you're lucky enough, you will get it to spawn next to you, all right? So I got that glitch to work as well in this video. I was happy about that. Now what you want to do is you need to get one of your special vehicles, all right, from your special vehicle warehouse. I call up a buzzard, you know, sign in as a CEO. Make sure you sign in as a CEO before you do this glitch and make sure you got 10 piss washers as well. So grab a special vehicle. Once you have a special vehicle, what you want to do now is go ahead and drive over to the entrance of your special vehicle warehouse. Throw some stickies on it. Now, once you've thrown the stickies on it, drive straight into the special vehicle warehouse and blow up right before you hit the blue circle. So left bumper right before I was about to hit the blue circle and I blew up. You're glitched now. Oh, and by the way, shout out to Celestial Gaming. This is his glitch, and it is still working. I can't believe it. Invisible, OTR, with guns, everything. So now, once you've done that and you spawn back on the ground, you want to run over to your MOC with the weapon and vehicle workshop in it. That's very important. You're going to be caught on this infinite black loading screen. 
Once you're caught on this infinite black loading screen, what you want to do is on PlayStation, you guys can start up a recent activity. Xbox, we have to have a friend in a different targeting mode. So I knew that my friend here, Bloody, was in a different targeting mode. I went to hit join game on him. I accept the first alert and I deny the second. Boom, I am in the vehicle workshop and I am invisible. Well, not the vehicle workshop, the special vehicle warehouse. And I'm invisible. Now, this is why you needed 10 piss washers. You need to drink these beers so that you can pass out. As you can see, for those of you, and I know there's many of you that say that it was patched, you can't drink. The reason you can't drink your piss washers is because you have headgear that's not letting you. All right, so I had that on. I had a Tron helmet. It's not, let, it's not gonna let you drink with a Tron helmet on or anything. So go to your gear, put on a rebreather, and then take it off, and it'll take off all your headgear. Now you can go ahead and go to your snacks, double tap the A button or X button on PlayStation, and you see that now he's actually drinking the beers. <laughs> So, it's about four tips up, you know, four tilts up of the beer for him to drink the whole thing, and then you just double tap again, all right? So just keep double tapping until he drinks the whole thing. Double tap for each beer and hold it so that he drinks the entire thing, and then at, at around the eighth beer or so, or seven and a half, he's gonna pass out and you're gonna end up at the hospital. For some reason, everybody lagged out of the session, or I lagged out from everybody, something like that happened, but that's all good. At this moment, you are off the radar and invisible, but you don't have guns. So what you want to do is go ahead and get over to the helicopter that's above the, you know, the hospital, fly to your MC clubhouse. Once you've flown to your MC clubhouse, you just simply have to walk in of it, in, into it and walk out. That's it. Once you've walked in and out of your MC clubhouse, you're going to see you're good to go. So walk in, wait for you to go invisible, walk back out. Once you've done that, go ahead and check it out. Take out a gun. You are invisible. Now, once you've done all this, you are set to do the glitch. Now, the reason we have to do this glitch is because you don't get cops on you for this, all right? So to go to this location, this is where the police station is. You're invisible, off the radar, no cops, so you can be in a public session. Nobody's going to know where you are, and nobody's going to know what you're doing. That's why this glitch is so amazing, and I'm so happy it's still working. So go ahead and go behind the police station right over here. I already got four stars. Start climbing up to the roof. And just press RB or I think that's R1 on PlayStation and just go up against this wall and you'll see you gain, to, you know, 200 RP every minute just from standing there. All right. So that's pretty much it, guys. Those are all the glitches. Just chill right here and you can turn your controller off. That's the best part because you're not going to idle out of this one. All right. Turn your controller off. It doesn't even have to be plugged in. Leave it there all night. And when you wake up, you will still be standing there getting RP. Nobody will know where you are and the cops cannot get to you. Okay. So, uh, yeah, those are all the RP glitches, guys. A bunch of different things, a little money glitch for you, everything, all right? That's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something. And if you did, make sure to slap that like button by hitting the blue thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new by hitting that big red button. And turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody. Have a great day.